Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future the Game. I've now just realised how weird that sounds. Welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future. Um, might need to work on that. Anyway, in the last episode we started the game and found out that Doc Brown has gone missing. Um, had a little run in with Biff as we looked through uh, the Doc's possessions and suddenly a DeLorean has appeared outside of the house. As you can see it's still smoking so... Uh, I don't know what's happened here, let's have a little look, unless we can look through the trash first. We can't! Uh, only one thing to do then. What is this? Dalek? Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Oh, okay. Well, at least the dog's okay. At least Einstein's fine. Um... It seems like there's no power, because the, 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 the flux capacitor is not lighting up. What do we got in the uh, car? We've got time circuit switch. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Dak. Oh, uh, I was completely wrong. It just wasn't turned on. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> ah, there might be a message from Doc with this. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? I say let's just put in a random date and see what happens. Um, or maybe not. That might take a while, actually. Shoe! <laughs> Why is there a shoe here? Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Can we wear the shoe? Have we, have we just stored the shoe? We have. Mysterious shoe. This time-traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Okay, let's 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 have a look at the shoe. What time period could that shoe be from? Um, I'm not really a shoe expert to be honest, so I don't know. There's the tape recorder. Uh, what else we got here? Can I move the camera? Oh no! Oops. Oh, okay. Middle click does that. Fair enough. Oh no! 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 Don't get out! No, Marley! What are you doing, you fool? Get back in there! Well, there's Einstein in the background. He's having a great time. Yeah, look at him. Sniffing. Having a good sniff. Maybe we can look at the time circuit keypad and look at the heat. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. No. Okay. Maybe we could look at, like, recent presses somehow. Um... I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Yeah, yeah. Alright. I thought that was... Yeah, okay. Uh, what else we got? We got the time circuit switch here. Yeah. Do we need to turn that back on, I wonder? I think we do. I probably shouldn't fiddle with the time circuits again until I know when to look for Doc. Oh, okay, all right. Well, I think that's pretty much it then. I don't think I can look around. I probably shouldn't fiddle with no, the time. No, 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 no. Uh, don't think I'm missing anything. Got to do a little bit of pixel hunting, although it's kind of difficult with this game. It's much prettier than usual. I'm not, not used to these sort of 3D point and clicks. Uh, let's go. Let's leave them, I guess. 
Maybe we should go talk to Einstein because uh, I'm sure we can talk to dogs. I'm sure that's fine. Can we look on the back maybe? Oh, oh yeah, we move like that, don't we? Oh, we can talk to Einstein. Oh, good. Where's the shoe from? Take a sniff. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Oh, well, that wasn't useful at all. Let me give him the shoe. Use it. Oh, no, Einstein. What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Great Scott! I think he's onto something. Oh, what a good dog. Good boy. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Oh, I like this. I like this wider environment. How far can we walk? Oh, we can go all the way up the street. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, wow, there's loads of things. We can just keep on walking. I'm out of here. No, no, I'm not. Alright, can we go in the arcade, play some games? Will he let us? Probably not. We've got things to do. I guess there's time for a quick game. <laughs> oh, okay, actually. No, screw the dock. We can have a quick game of Pac-Man or something. Okay, now I'm ready. Nice, alright. Now we're in the zone. What's that? Oh, it's the arcade sign. What can we look at that for? Starbase Zero. I hope Jimmy's fixed the wild gunman machine. Alright. I guess we've got to go inside this door. Let's have a quick look around first. Oh, it's a liquor store. I ah. see you sneaking into that liquor store, young man! Wow, what a creepy old lady. You've got nothing better to do than spy on little kids. Freak. And there's the liquor. We can just look at lots of signs. A1. A1 liquor. I like the new bars Mr. Figgins put on the windows. Very secure. Hmm. Alright, well I guess there's nothing to it. Isn't this where the old lady just popped her head out of him? I don't want to talk to her. It's locked. Oh, well, then use the intercom thing then. Let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! Oh, boy. Um, Maybe we should ask her who she is. Well, that's a bit rude, really. Although she's being very rude to us. No, screw her. E. Strickland? You aren't related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't ya? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Oh, her voice is horrible. I can't bother to argue with her. Let's just get to the point. State your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? well I got your shoe, you stupid old lady. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Fine. It does look like an old lady's shoe, to be fair. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! <laughs> Leave that creature outside! Sorry, Einstein. long enough um there's a lot of stairs to return the shoe I mean I lost it ages ago 
You can put it down next to the other one. Mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Uh, I mean, I could sit down, but I would really like that tea. Could I just have the tea? <laughs> this is my sort of old lady. Where's the tea? Where's the kitchen? Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on the... You! It's spelled with a U! You illiterate vandal! Listen, I take my tea very seriously. You haven't put the hob on, you, you, you old bag. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't worry about her too much. Can we just look around her stuff then? Whoa, camera. Easy now. What about those shoes? Why was one really old? Well, I can gather why. This is about time travel, I suppose, isn't it? Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? Well, that's what I want to find out, Marley. Cat trophies? What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lovers Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Oh, she's a crazy old cat lady, isn't she? Yeah, look, there are cats everywhere. Oh. So apparently she was a journalist. It's quite interesting. I'm still getting used to these walking controls, it seems. Marley's just a little bit drunk. He got into that liquor store earlier on. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Oh, I want to see about this guy. He looks like from like the Civil War or something. Um, what is that? Nope. What are those? Nope. Ray dealer. Yes. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. All right, now's our chance to touch everything. What can I look through? The papers? Yes. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Sounds familiar. Okay, uh, any more? What about the TV? No, the chair? Oh, what's that? Binoculars. Oh, can we take those? Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out of control hedonist, just like his father. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Oh, I want to steal the binoculars. They seem like they'd be useful. Hmm. Maybe we should just talk to her. That's probably the best way to find out about stuff, isn't it? Well, let's just steal some of it. Oh, I should have stole her candy. Can I still do uh, it? The candy looks older than I am. All right, well, fair enough. What about the cat? Can we steal her cat food? Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Ugh, I don't like cats. All right, let's just talk to her then. Edna. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Alright. Let's start off with... Well, let's, yeah, the shoe. The shoe's why we're here. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. 
Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. A speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. All right, so that was that must be a good what, 50 years ago if we're still in the 80s, I suppose. Um, it's kind of interesting why she hasn't questioned us about how we got the shoe. That will probably be my first thought, is how did you get a shoe that I lost 50 years ago? Never mind. Um, should we... Mm. I really want those binoculars. I don't know why. I just like stealing from old people. No, let's ask about the speakeasy. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. What? But they wouldn't have had videos back then. That doesn't make any sense at all. Um... Go on, Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that... Jim Tannen! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! What a, what a creepy face. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. I have a feeling something is going to happen to those newspapers. Something very nasty. Or maybe they'll be very useful. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Which was... Wait. Do you have to... Tell me when that was. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about... Naturally. Any okay. idea what... Well... She's not going to tell me. And she's already told me where the speakeasy was. I wonder if we can... Uh... Don't let me keep you from your business. Yeah, quite right. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! I wonder if we can now go visit the uh, video arcade... Maybe find out some history, or maybe now we look through them, we'll... Oh! Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Well, they don't look that organized to me. They look like they're toppling on top of a sofa. Get a proper, you know, cupboard or something. Um... No, I think that's... Unless we can make her go out into the kitchen again and then try and look again. Let's try and do that very quickly. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Yeah, yeah, go go make that tea. Edna, go on. With your nice apple wallpaper. Alright, quickly, quickly, quickly. Speak easy. 
Brown mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. Keep looking. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Uh, do we need to go to the library? Keep looking. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. All right, we gotta we gotta get the year first. I, I figure he's not gonna let us continue without a date. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. All right, there she is. Uh, let's let's leave this place and see if we can go visit somewhere else first. Maybe get a date in mind. See you later. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. But- And I'd hate to have to tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. Damn, I almost felt sad for her then. Oh, I get so few visitors, lonely, blah, blah, blah. And then she had to go and say that. Ugh. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Oh, Biff, what have you just got? Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Oh, come off it, Edna. Come on. Uh, what on earth was Biff looking at? That was a bit odd. But also, what a, what a weird sign to have outside a video store of all places. But hey, at least we've got a year now. So let's do the old whistle trick. Get her out of the room. With the radiator. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Alright, so we have a year, 1931, I guess, if it was the year before. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy, singer vanishes, Hill Valley Expo delights crowd, soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob... What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland, uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, it's, uh, uh, is it nearly Halloween? I don't know. <laughs> it's work uniform. Let's say it's a play. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Ugh. 
Right, well, you know, the old the old lady meeting with Edna could have gone better. We may have just you know, ruined her life a little bit. But that's fine. We have a date in mind. We know where Doc is. We know what happens. We know what we can do to save him. Hopefully, we've got on that next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.